KC Singh, former Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, General G.D. Bakshi, Editor of the Indian Military Review, and Maru Fraza, representing the Indian side, Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, Mr. Syed Pirzada, and Mayad Ali Khan, Chief, Chief Reporter of the News, representing the Pakistani point of view. First, I'd like to start with Mayad. You know, Mr. Mayad Ali Khan, India made a, gave a great chance here. You know, we resumed Foreign Secretary level talks with Pakistan. Right? We sent our Foreign Secretary to Pakistan earlier this month, despite you are having engaged with the separatists in the lead up to the foreign secretary level talks. So you know that if you want to compromise the talks, all you need to do is to begin this dialogue with these, you know, this dysfunctional Huriyat group once again. We discussed Kashmir during the foreign secretary well, talks and, and just allow me to complete. Yet, you have, we even called for working together with Pakistan to strengthening the SARC. Not just that. Modi directly spoke to Nawaz Sharif about this Indian initiative, right? All so India was making. I have just given well, four four obvious. India even went to the extent, Mayad, of discussing trade ties with Pakistan, despite all the animosity on security issues. Why are you doing this? Why are you undoing everything? What's the agenda? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, now I think. Uh, 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 I don't understand the whole problem uh, that, that India has created on this issue. Uh, in my opinion, it's an internal issue. If, uh, if, if a terrorist uh, for you uh, or a Mujahideen for uh, Pakistan could be released... Uh, That's got nothing the, to do with this. That's got nothing Kashmir. to do with this. No, no, one second. One second. Please understand, the Indian government has categorically said that the question, decision to release the separatist, this terrorist, is not something it supports. That is a separate issue. It's an internal issue. You're correct. I am asking you about the meeting with Gilani. What is the whole idea? Please explain. Well, uh, to, I to think. Me. Yeah. I, 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 let, let me let me say. Uh, I think and uh, I believe that it's uh, uh, Pakistan also has uh, certain uh, priorities and I think Pakistan uh, looks at this no, like this priority? that uh, it's the I, right time no, no, right time what, to sort of priority? go ahead no no one, go one, ahead one, with one the, just just one minute, the, one minute one minute one minute just one minute please let's get this clear Maruf is coming into the debate the fact is this meeting with Gilani Maruf let's look at it factually is not something that was thrust on Pakistan it was something that Pakistan itself initiated. Gilani has admitted it. Gilani has said, I got a call. The Pakistan High Commissioner came to me. So Pakistan initiated this. It was not Gilani going to Pakistan. So obviously, it was a premeditated move by Pakistan. What's the idea, Maruf? Arnab, there are two or three things that uh, come to my mind. The first is, that uh, in the case of the Pakistan High Commissioner taking, if he is his own individual initiative, which I believe it isn't, because obviously he is being nudged by the establishment in Pakistan. If it's his initiative or otherwise, the Indian government has the authority not to let people visit some parts of India if it desires not to allow them to go there. I mean, visas to visit uh, India to diplomats or otherwise also define parts of India where they can visit and where they can't visit. So somebody is sleeping in the Indian establishment and allowing Mr. Basit to go ahead and have talks and invite Mr. Jalani, who is distinctly anti-Indian, for Pakistan's annual day celebrations on March 23rd. That's one of the things that apparently was discussed. The second point which I wish to make is that Mr. Basit knows very clearly that the terms of engagement laid out by the Indian government and under the Simla Accord also, if you go back, it is India and Pakistan that need to be talking. In fact, in the Shimla Accord, one of the really telling factors of that arrangement in June 1972 was that even Kashmiri leadership was not allowed to be part of the final discussion between Indira Gandhi and Zulfikar Bhutto. So how is it that we are now talking only to separatists if he's interested in engaging the mood in Kashmir? There is an elected chief minister. Why did he not interact with the elected chief minister? Clearly, he wants to rouse certain sentiments in Kashmir, which obviously will inflame the agenda in a way that Pakistan will be back on the table, thumping their hands and saying, sorry. We have support in Kashmir and we are only going to talk to them. There is and I think it's a failure on the part of Delhi. It's the failure on the part of Mr. Mufti's government 
to allow the Pakistani High Commissioner to bypass them all and go and talk to people who clearly have no sympathy for the people of Kashmir or the Indian discourse on the subject. No, no, and, and I mean, if everybody this? has to be brought on board, that's the last point I want no, to no. make. Well, why, why isn't the Pakistan army also coming on board on the talks? After all, they are the strongest supporters, both morally, militarily, and diplomatically, for Pakistan's hardline view on no, no, look Kashmir. At the, look at the, look at and the hypocrisy. And our foreign office one thinks let, let, between let, let, two foreign look secretaries, at the, Maruf, we Maruf, can resolve a problem Maruf. which doesn't seem to have a solution no, 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 Maruf. for Maruf, South Maruf, Bloc Maruf, and Rawalpindi. No, 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 Maruf, Maruf. We, don't, we don't want to have a solution because we seem to be talking endlessly. No, no, Get everybody in the dialogue and if that be the argument or or stall the High Commissioner taking Sumoto individual initiative to go and meet only anti-India elements. I mean, this is ridiculous. No. Somebody has failed in Delhi, somebody has failed in Sri Lanka, and clearly the High Commissioner's agenda is to upset the whole bilateral process. No, the, the That's question, the way I see The only see issue we are debating tonight is Pakistan's motive. I, I would like to get the others also, Sayyid Tariq Pirzada, KC Singh, Jidi Bakshi, as well as uh, Abid Rao, and, and this is an open debate. Feel free to come in. I'm not really going around one by one. But if you want me to, I can go that way. I actually want an open debate on this subject. I see G.D. Bakshi's hand go up, but I'm going to go to one of the Pakistani uh, interlocutors next. My question is very simple. You see, this is the silliest thing I could have heard of Abid Rao. <laughs> you want to, your government wants to brief Mr. Gilani about the meeting of the foreign secretaries. I mean, I, it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. And it may, anyone, uh, any, any, Arnab, it anyone may be hilarious for you. Let me now uh, no, give me just two minutes. Anyone on the streets of represents the people of, of Jammu and Kashmir more of, than this man. I don't know how much you're paying Indian him. No, no, Indian government is in the greatest state Abhid of Rao, denial. It could be, no, no, you, you may are feel, putting everything under the Abhid carpet. Rao, Abhid Rao, I can understand it may, be, it may for you be a financial investment. You may have paid him a lot of money. After all, what is he? He's just a paid stooge. You may have paid him a lot of money to look at his relevance. Why are you surprised that we are talking to some Kashmiri leader? No, no, I mean, Chief Minister of Karnataka, Maharashtra will be of no help in solving Kashmir issue. I am more surprised. I am more surprised that your government goes out to You suspended the talks and you came back. And you came back because America twisted your tail. And you cannot live in peace without talking to Pakistan. Mr. Mr. You are irrelevant. Your irrelevance is the point I was making. Your irrelevance is the point I was making. We are giving Pakistan a reason to come there in the last 20 years. French Cubic has gone through a referendum to stay with Canada. East Timor has gone for a referendum separated from the mother country. Scotland has had a most recent, uh, Crimea has had last year a uh, 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 <laughs> referendum to join this country or that country. Why is India sleeping? The fact that you are so sensitive to this, because in your heart you are guilty, that you are holding on to that land so uh, with 5 million uh, Indian troops. You have killed more than 150,000 Kashmiris. You have raped more than 70,000 women. For God's sake, go for a solution. Don't look at it this way that somebody has talked to a Kashmiri leadership. Look at it this, will it help? peace in this region okay. or will it not help peace? Okay. So here's the Modi government Mr. has been very aggressive Mr. in last Rao, 10 Rao, months. We will it never cannot Mr. sustain Mr. this Rao, attitude. I, 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 I would say Pakistan, this to you the the whole Pakistan at that, Mr. Rao, please. Uh, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao I'm letting Jiri Bakshi come in. But, the, but your meeting with separatists today only exposes your established hypocrisy in blaming India for the cancellation of talks. You repeat the same mistake that lead to the cancellation of talks. You won the talks scandal. The very fact that you briefed Gilani about the meeting of foreign secretaries showed the extent to which you have disregarded our, our outreach. You've disregarded because our Because it is an unsettled issue. It needs settlement. You are, Political, you are talking, diplomatic you or must, military settlement. G.D. Bakshi, please, please understand it's this. It's a matter of perception. Sir, Sir, it is not a matter of perception, G.D. Bakshi, please. Mistake. It is not a mistake. It is a deliberate affront. It is calculated to derail the latest initiative. This is a part of the Pakistan Army's agenda. I repeat this. Pakistan has never derailed the talks. Pakistan, Pakistan has never derailed the talks. Of the Pakistani Why ambassador. I mean, it is a calculated insult. 
I mean, you know, Indian media has created the boat, uh, you know, fiasco, and embarrassment and for Indian government was, uh, on 31st December. Uh, you, you have you created, are, you even on the, your film PK, you blamed ISI to fund that. Out. How so ridiculous can you be? I am amazed at this. So. Air Marshal Abed Rao, kindly hear me out. I did not interrupt you. You know, ambassadors are paid to ensure that peace prevails between the two countries. But here we have an ambassador who is deliberately tasked, charged with the task of disrupting whatever peace initiative is taken. We burnt our hands once, we burnt our fingers once. Absolutely. We had sent our foreign secretary, you know, we were sending the foreign secretary when you created this fracas. We told you not to do it, you went ahead and did it. Now that our foreign secretary has been sent again to somehow get the peace talks going, you know, to satisfy the world that yes, we are trying to make effort and, and dash it all. But see, when we make that effort, you you allow, instigate allow. a no, no, calculated a, we, insult. No, we we are calculated really, insult. No, 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 and I, I would like to get Mr. Pirzada, but KC Singh also. What are we saying to the Pakistanis, KC Singh? We are saying we are talking Kashmir with you, but it's a bilateral issue. They tried to do third-party intervention, it failed. Now they have gone into getting Gilani in. To me, it appears... No, the Mr. Kashmiri leadership is there. Some minute, please. Your attempts... He your is attempts not from to, West Bengal. Your attempts to internationalize the Kashmir they issue have failed. The day Barack Obama ruled out any solution from outside in July 2012. You can keep dreaming after that. Now, KC Singh, what is the idea here? What is the attempt? What is the Pakistani High Commissioner trying to do and whose instructions is he acting on? KC Singh. Look, the fact remains that Pakistan wants to bring the focus back on Kashmir. But in this case, Arnab, the last one hour, the debate, wonderful debate you had before this, in which you brought the focus on what is happening within Kashmir, between PDP and BJP, I think you can't see the two things out of context. What did the PDP chief minister say when he was sworn in? He thanked the Pakistani army and he thanked the, uh, the militants for uh, letting India conduct an election there. So you knew what is coming. The signals were going out from PDP itself and that has emboldened Pakistan. So even though the foreign secretary went there and very clearly these were not resumption of the composite dialogue. This was just to sense out with Pakistan how to move forward and to see if new ground rules could be established. But Pakistan has jumped the gun. They've been emboldened by what is happening in Kashmir and we are doing it to ourselves. By BJP allowing PDP to do it to us, why blame Pakistan? No, so what's we the have response, got a, KC, a problem KC, inside KC, the country. KC, 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 the issues that, we, yep. that the BJP has with the PDP will be resolved in the next couple of days. BDP is pushing the envelope right now. That gets resolved, you'll groups. find the Pakistani no, High Commissioner will also back off. No, my, the whole Pakistan issue. is playing, to, yeah. Pakistan's playing <laughs> to an expectation that PDP will continue to play this game and the focus is being brought back to Kashmir unnecessarily. The focus was off Kashmir. And the attempt when we Arnab, called off the Arnab. talks in <coughs> August last Arnab. year was to say that Kashmir is an internal issue. Yeah. We had managed to delink it. Yeah. But by the m steps that we have taken yeah. domestically and BJP not having sorted out their co what they call their common minimum program and what Mr. Chari was calling the dharma, but which is nothing more than PDP perfidy, because they have a whole agenda and they are going to do it very no, quickly so we, because no, they are afraid if they don't do it quickly, I the rug may be pulled I from understand. under them. No, I so understand. Pakistan's emboldened by no, that. No, I understand. And that but is no, why the High no, Commissioner no, okay, is so emboldened let's, let's, can to we, try can to bring we, the I, I understand, I understand I, the point you are making, Casey. And I understand what you are saying that Pakistan is riding on the situation that is being created deliberately by the PDP, a pro-Pakistan exactly. chief minister for his own narrow in, internal agenda. Forget that part of it. My point is today, and Mr. Pirzad, I'll come you, to why you. Why are you disowning them now? So one second. As it's far the as Indian the, government which conduct, conducted talk, the election so one in Kashmir. Uh, one Please minute, don't one disown one, them. One, one minute. No, no Indian state government, by the way, can be allowed to work against the interests of India. We have 66.4% voter turnout. We have a voter turnout in the panchayat elections of about 80%. But do not tell me that that vote 
was aimed at serving an anti-Indian agenda. It was not. It was a reaffirmation of faith in Indian democracy. By participating in the elections, you must remember this. And you be clear about it, sir. Do you or do you not believe in the Indian elections? You, you, can't, you can't be both with Mufti when it suits you. One minute. Or with the Huriyat when it suits you. Mufti took part in the elections. Huriyat did not take part in the elections. Or your agenda is Maruf. Or the agenda of the Pakistanis is. Exactly. It doesn't matter. As long as you are destroying the edifice of Indian democracy and challenging the Indian state, it doesn't matter whether you took part in an Indian election or didn't. Because as far as I'm concerned, Maruf, by participating in the elections, Absolutely. Kashmiris overwhelmingly rejected <laughs> these, these paper tigers like Mr. Gilani. But the Pakistanis don't get that. So my they question is, and I want Mr. Pizhada to come in on this. It, what what do we do let, with the talks? Let me, Maruf, if you allow Maruf, me, just after a this, minute, what sir, should we, yeah. Just a minute, yeah. just a minute. Honor, Mr. I, Pizhada. Honor, yeah. I, I, I just want to add two quick points because I want to let the Pakistanis have their say. So please allow me. Two quick points. One is... In September 1947, Sheikh Abdullah himself in the UN Security Council, which is a recorded speech by him, said that Kashmir's best option lies with India. It doesn't lie with Pakistan. It is a narrative which many leaders in Kashmir have successfully followed. But the only problem is Pakistan leans towards those who wave the green flag towards them. Yeah. And Jilani and gang are precisely that element which have been kept alive. What shocks me, and I agree with Mr. Casey Singh there, what shocks me that why does New Delhi allow these anti-national seditious elements to have a free run in our own system? Does Pakistan allow the Prime Minister of Pakistan administrator Kashmir the option to stand up and say that Kashmir would be independent as per the constitution of 1974? If he was to make that point, he would be hanged for treason. Let Mr. Pizza because that's explain. a treasonable offence in Pakistan. Answer. And we are giving them visas to travel all over. We are giving them houses to stay in. And we are giving them the chance to extend hospitality to the people like Mr. Basit and others who want to derail the peace process. And then we get lectures on peace from Pakistan. Clearly somebody doesn't want peace out there. No, the if they Shia, want it, Maru, then their envoy Maru, would not the be given Shia's the green the signal areas, to yeah. go and derail the process. Yes, I want answers to that. I, started, I want answers to that. Sir. I said this from the word go. It's your internal problem. No, Don't sir. blame it on Pakistan, no, no, please. One second. Did the did Mr. Basit? Don't go blame it on no, Pakistan. No, 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 one second. Did Mr. No, 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 no one second. Our it's our did, problem, no, sir. no, 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 one minute. It is our decency. Yeah, yeah. How do you? No, no, one second, Mr. 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 Minaj. Once understand this. India and Pakistan resolved to discuss all issues bilaterally. Okay. Now be logical, sir. Please be logical to our Pakistani guests, Mayad Ali Khan, especially. Be logical. Think about it. The Huriyat is a complete non-entity. You can't choose this person represents Kashmiris. Right? You can't choose. You may have paid Gilani a lot of money. Tell me on what basis do you say he represents Kashmiris? You have nothing to answer. Mr. Pizza, do you have anything you to answer? One these, second. These one second. These? No, no, one second. First of all, okay. first of do, all, I want to I, I want to know do on I what basis? Chance? On what basis? All right. Besides Anab, the fact that I you paid Anab. him a lot of money. You've spoken a lot. No, no, Anab, no, Anab, on, Anab, on what basis do you decide that Gilani point. represents Kashmiris? No, tell me. Arnab, Arnab. No, no, one sec, Mr. Pirzada can respond. You look, you, you. Mr. Pirzada, tell me, how do you decide that Mr. P the Mr. Gilani represents Kashmiris? Anybody except himself. In fact, I think he's such a sold out man. Well, you know, he's how available does for India sale. decide? Mr. Gilani who, is available for let, sale. Let me, you can buy him. Me, Anybody can buy him. Let me put you this very blunt question. He's so Arnab, why are you worried give about yourself it? a break. Give Mr. yourself Pizzada, a break Mr. Pizzada, and let me you answer my question. Please. Please, how do you decide? The issue is how this: do you decide why, that why does your government it is not India? By going it is and the talking. Kashmiri leadership that has decided to represent the people of Kashmir. Mr. Gilani has spoken. No, no, you the don't. The Uriyat people leadership has spoken. Right. It is Mr. Mufti who has spoken, even though he's a crony of New Delhi. Uh, he has spoken. You have no local stand eye at all. India is an occupying power. So India's okay. constitutional oh, really? Oh, really? or other Mr. political Pizzada, legitimacy don't, 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 does not stand, has no Mr. way Mr. to Pizzada, go. Mr. Pizzada, don't get overwhelmed by yourself. You know, you know very well 
that Huriyat is nothing but a puppet of the. All right, let me let me one minute. Now Mr. let me Pizzada, finish my point. Mr. Pizzada, don't get worked up tonight. Please understand this. Do you want talks with India or don't want talks? Maruf, I think we should bring it down to that. You want talks? Or uh, all right, right, here now, is the answer. Right now we can have a situation. Now here is the answer. No talks. Can I come in because we don't I lose. I told you. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold just a second. You, no, no, I told you four months ago when you started bombing the ceasefire line. And the we, Mr. Order, you know, you do understand this. Your best, <coughs> sir, you Pakistan do understand this. Pakistan back down. No, no, now you case. had to back down. You came to us to talk. No, no, we, Mr. Now, you Pirzada, you must understand. Mr. Mr. Pirzada, I'm sorry. If it is not in I'm your sorry. interest. Mr. 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 Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada you must understand this. You must understand this that we have made it absolutely clear. We you have made it absolutely clear, peace Mr. Pirzada, please. We have made it absolutely clear to you again and again and again and again, whatever quarter or half of a government that you have left in Islamabad, that engaging separatists is whatever unwelcome. The, whatever half of the no, 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 no. So, so the fact is, fact is, fact is, if, if, if there are no you talks, know, Mr. Modi doesn't. No, no. If there are no talks, or maybe if there are no talks, or you're if, trying if to there are no talks, you stand to lose out. Only way your only relevance, to have your an only relevance in the. The world is so you know you know you know what happened the issue of Kashmir you know we know you realize this you realize this mr pirzada please pakistan mr pirzada all the talk that i'm hearing on the show you are that so is rubbish no, no, you have so mr pirzada you have, you have to talk you have no choice but to talk to us mr pirzada you understand this we have every choice why to, to why mr to, 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 no, what's a maru one second no, maru one minute maru one minute why did you come maru one minute then then you. tell me why did your secretary Come to Islamabad. Why was he sent? <laughs> Did we? We didn't put a point a gun on your face. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pizada, Mr. Pizada, please read your newspapers. He let, came to let, talk let about let the Sars initiative. Maru, he did not don't, come to don't, talk don't only be, about don't India, be Pakistan. Don't a high gun for Arnab. Let him talk. One second, please be a little more respectful towards Maruf. No, no, I, I'm I, not. One second, one, no, no, one second, Maruf, Maruf, one second, Maruf, one minute, Maruf, one minute, Maruf, one minute, Maruf, a minute, Maruf, a minute, Mr. Pirzada. Mr. Pirzada, I, I assure you, Maruf, one minute. Yes. If you have run out of any logical, coherent, sensible arguments, you can say so. What the you know, logical because, point because, is? Because I didn't call you a, exactly I didn't, I I didn't call you a hired gun. I didn't call you a hired gun for the ISI. Though everybody knows, everybody knows, Mr. Pirzada, that you are nothing but a hired gun for the ISI. I didn't call you that. And I stand vindicated. I didn't call you a hired gun for the ISI. Though everybody knows. That you are a hired gun for the ISI very Well, you can use any expression. People know where, where you come. That's all right, Mr. Pizza. So, so you know, I I didn't get personal law. despite knowing one, your background. Two, three, four. And, and talk, I can, I can and so, talk no, no, one second. Thing. So, Mr. One second. We all know. And please, one but second, please. Let's talk. If you are going yes. to be disrespectful, let me, let me if you are going to be disrespectful to Maru, right I'm going to respond to you equally. A lot of mistakes now, Mr. Pizza, the question is this: It's a silly, it's a silly, and it's a silly, if if I may say so. So it's a it's a childish one. argument. Number Maruf two. wants to it come back to this. Also some time. This is a silly uh, and childish you know, argument which begins by saying, "Why did your foreign yes, secretary come to? And that is a why did your foreign step. secretary come to Pakistan? I mean, one second, please, Mr. Pizza. Composite dialogue, and that'll help you continue in the right direction of resolving the issue of Kashmir. You know, Mr. Do not Mr. undermine the Mr. issue of Mr. Kashmir. Mr. Pizza, I only this have. An internal there was a time better for India. Yeah, Mr. Pirzada, I just want to say one thing. You please listen, please. There was Arna, a time. Arna. No, no, one second, Maruf. One well, second. I'm one minute, Maruf. I'm saying something to I'm saying something to Mr. Pirzada. I need to just tell him this, Maruf. Because there was a time. Sure. When you used to shock me. But tonight, Mr. Pirzada, the way you talk, you worry me. It appears to me you have lost your sense of balance, Mr. Pizza. Please regain your composure. Well, K. C. Singh, my question is tonight. K. C. Singh, K. Maru wants to come back. K. C. Singh, you know this 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 argument. But, I don't and, know, K. C. K. C. This argument goes. Why did a foreign secretary come to Pakistan points. to talk anyway? What's the best way to respond to that kind of argument? Why did you come to talk to Pakistan anyway? Why did you engage in foreign secretary level talks, K. C. Because you have no choice. No, one minute, sir. Minute. How can you say no choice? Just met on the, just a minute. Sir, foreign just secretary minute. level talks. Just a minute. I say it again. Yeah. Just a minute. Delay Firstly, it is not foreign secretary level talks. Regular 
Firstly, just listen, Mr. Peter Zada. Please listen. I've been listening to your your gibberish. Please listen. The situation towards the Please let somebody else talk. Continue, continue. This is a debate, not a monologue. So you you do want to get into a military conflict? Arnab, firstly, this was not Foreign Secretary going for talks. Foreign Secretary. This was part of a four-nation visit embedded yeah. in a SARC visit. Yeah. He's a new foreign secretary who's taken over. Absolutely. He was familiarizing himself. Absolutely. And the next SARC summit is in Pakistan next year. So it was basically to discuss what is it and how to move the SARC agenda forward. I think the mistake that Pakistan's making a second time is we have a, what I was pointing out, a problem with PDP, PDP BJP is having a problem with them and their over anxiety to quickly deliver on what they think are their uh, supporters wishes they should not be uh, playing this game because this will be a setback to india pakistan relations india will again pull back so as a result what will happen will be this anxiety on the part of pakistan to highlight the kashmir issue and suddenly start uh, uh, fishing in this pond will again create a difference which has slowly been br uh, bridged over the last five six months they shouldn't do that. Let BJP shouldn't, sort shouldn't out their Pakistan difficulties with PDP. No, no, let, them de let them decide because remember that PDP is only a, has a part mandate. They do not have the full mandate to run Kashmir. There are three other parties which can form a government. Yep. So therefore PDP has Mayad to Ali realize Khan. they only have a part mandate. Mayad Ali Khan a fragmented so mandate why don't you let them form, them. The, form the government? They can't behave as if... They have a mandate to decide the why future Why don't you let them form the government? No, why? You see, that's what I'm no, telling you. It's your internal problem. Why are you just blaming no, no, us for that? Mayad Ali Khan, why don't you let whom they form the government? They don't have a majority. No, no, why don't you let whom form the government? PDP doesn't have a majority. No, no, why don't you let whom form a government? Mayad Ali Khan, Arnab, now let me... No, 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 one second, please explain your comment. You said, why don't you let them form the government? Who are you talking about? No, who did you mean when you said, why don't you let them form the government? The, 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 uh, the party that uh, my, call, my, Indian, my, my Indian counterpart is talking no, about. No, no, which party? You do you even know who you are you talking credible, about? And Maya Dalit, who are you talking listen, about? Listen, listen, you have... You no, who are, are you talking about? Please, 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 No, no, who are you? You are meddling in our listen, affairs without going, knowing going the by, names of the political uh, going, parties. Going by your words, Arnab, going by your words, will you listen now? Going by your words, you said that you have you had a very credible elections here and you should not challenge the uh, uh, the, the, the mechanism, the system, yes. and uh, and yes. the democracy in India. Yeah. So so you had a credible elections yes. there. You you have a credible uh, chief minister there. No. Who releases? Uh, no, no. One second. Uh, Hello. A, a so-called. One, one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. You, you're it. mistaken. You're mistaken. Sorry, Mayad. Mayad, I just need to correct you, you because in your eagerness. Not, can no, I no. One second. Just GD Bakshi, I'm coming in. I'm going to let you respond. You see, in your eagerness to somehow take any position that you think is going to confound India, and Mayat, please understand, please understand that, you know, next time India drops you like a hot potato, nobody in the world is going to look at you. You know your situation today globally, but as far as the question of do you form a government or not, you see, you are not familiar nowadays with how democracy functions, perhaps because democracy is crumbling in Pakistan or non-existent. But usually in a parliamentary democracy, you need to have the numbers to form the government. Mufti Mahmoud Said does not have the numbers to remain in power on his own. He needs serious support. He hasn't even got a complete mandate in the Kashmir Valley. He is sub being supported by the BJP so and, the, and, and no, therefore, problem, therefore it's every legitimate right system, tomorrow. Just throw every, no, no, one second. Tomorrow, Why, tomorrow if he compromises that, national interest, nobody is going to support him. The man does not have the numbers to form government on his own. If he had, he would have remained opinion, chief minister. As, as but as but, but extent, thankfully, he, he does has, not have those numbers. Has. Even the For people you, of yes. Kashmir have rejected the pro-separatist agenda. And I can tell you this is the this is the rate. And by the way, why don't you decide whether you believe in Indian elections or not? Because there are two people you seem to be backing. One person who you say is the product of an election. See, I, one person who's never participated in an election. Why don't you decide? You seem so utterly confused. I want to go back to I the subject here. What's the agenda here now? No, no. I think what I, is the agenda? I think you want to, I, I, you want to call please, off please, the now, talks? Now let me respond. Abhidra. You, you asked no, you, you ask me something yes. and let uh, me now, respond let, now. No, no. Let no. let me respond no, now. You want you, the you, no? you, you no, said that he was a credible he is a credible chief minister. Pardon me? I and said he's the chief you, minister. I said nothing said, about his credibility. Please, please Sorry. Let me respond. Sorry, I didn't say anything about his credibility. I have called him a pro-Pakistan chief minister in case you didn't hear. 
Arnab, Arnab said. No, no, that, sorry. Uh, no, no, I'm very uh, sorry. I'm, I'm very. And this applies, by Indian, the way. Indian, Indian, Indian by the way, by the way, Arnab, Mayad Ali Khan, and you realize this. This applies for any Indian politician. Tomorrow, any any Indian politician goes against the will of the Indian people. Tomorrow, any Indian politician goes against the will of the Indian people and compromises Indian sovereignty. Arnab, then we are not going to allow it. And by the way, Abid Rao, Abid Rao, Abid Rao, you know, Abid Rao, I am asking you again. Do you or do you not want these? Talks. You don't want the talks, then you know you can call it off. Arnab, it's over. Can I come in? Arnab. It's over. No, we, we want talks. Arnab, Pakistan, no. in August, when we did a program, I said to you that India will come back. Unfortunately, India has come back when Americans have put pressure on no, no, India. No, no, no. So, no, no, fine, that is, is okay. No, there is no American pressure <coughs> let, on this. Uh, let, this has, let the talks. No, 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 one second. There GD is pressure. Bakshi. You admit GD or not? Bakshi. GD Bakshi. Why, there is, there is no, 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 one second. Like, one minute, one minute. Just listen to me. One minute. Adjust Chaudhary. Indian democracy is so good. Adjust Chaudhary. Why don't you look at the global environment? Have a referendum in Kashmir and finish this damn issue for all times to come. You see, again, you go back. We will see. We will accept what the referendum says. You have a solid... You have a solid Kashmiri obsession, Kashmir obsession that's going on here. But I need to tell you this again. Of course, you know, it is there. That is a real ob obsession, <coughs> Arnab. That is a genuine. Yeah, but you know, you know what happened with, you know what happened, Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada. You know, with obsessions, what happened? Real one. Obsessions unchecked can often lead to delirium. Now, G.D. Bakshi wants to say something to you. Well, G.D. Bakshi. that's your personal No, no, no. I'm making an observation. You know, you know, you know, Unchecked obsessions lead to delirium. G.D. Bakshi. Talk on this show. To talk Mr. About Mr. Zada. That's Mr. the Mr. Zada. Can I kindly have message. my peace? All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Peer Zada, I'm very sorry. Our Pakistani interlocutors have very little experience of democracy. They do not understand well, the reality of a fractured mandate, India has, which is what has this the election. We are has asking up. you to hold you, referendum in Kashmir. Mr. Pirzada, you are so exercise your democracy is to the one who is not allowed any sense of semblance in election. this debate. Every time you come to this debate, there was no you just try and drown everybody's voice out. No, I think that is a pathetic way of you know behaving. Because I'm very sorry. You are not used to the idea of democracy. Of that is your problem. You don't know that a fractured mandate has resulted in Jammu and Kashmir. And the fact of the matter is that, that Sayyad Ali Shah Gilani has no locus standing. I repeat, no locus standing to talk for anybody in JNK. K C Singh, what you should know, we do? K C Singh and Maruf. K C Singh, K C Singh and Maruf. Now that the no, no, writing is on the wall, the writing is on the wall. No, no, no. One second, one second. K C Singh, K C Singh, K C Singh, K C Singh, Narendra Modi. One second. Our Prime Minister, our Prime Minister today. That is why you talk like this. One second. I want to go to the. I want to go to K C and Maruf, please, for a minute. Casey, he could not understand yeah. that Pakistan is not a Pakistan. Today's yeah. Pakistan oh is not a Pakistan of 1947 or 1970. It's worse. I know it's worse. Yeah, it worse I know it's worse. Oh, well, I know it's worse than 1947. Now, 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 one second. Casey, I just want I want to ask Casey one question, please. Casey and Maruf, please. Casey and Maruf, please. My only question to Casey and Maruf is see. There are yeah, two issues ahead. here, Casey. Now, let's, let's deal with one separately. One is what the BJP is going to do with the PDP. It's really got itself between a rock and a hard place. Bigger question is, it took a position that you talk to our, you talk to separatists, we will not continue dialogue. Now, Maru, you, you know, Casey and Maruf, you know Modi was doing cricket diplomacy, calling up Nawaz Sharif. We are committed to going for the SARC. We've begun a dialogue, right? And it is quite clear the intent of the Pakistanis is not to move away from engaging with these separatists. So what is the best option for this government? What is the best option vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and the talks? I Do we just continue? Yeah, I, I think they have, to be firm, yeah, they have to be firmly told that this is only, we have had talks about talks. And if your infatuation with what goes on in Kashmir remains, then this will be a setback to the revival of even talks about talks. I think they have to be told that, including whether like, the Prime Minister goes to Pakistan next year or not. Yeah. Because that will be a question mark over SARC. Yeah. They Put should the ball not in try exploiting this 
uh, but they won't stop. Maru, will they stop? Difficulty caused by no, no, Maru, no. Let India resolve it. Let BJP resolve it. But if they are fishing think in this, no, no. they will complicate but bilateral KC, relations. But KC, I don't think the Pakistanis will stop. I think they, they are putting the pressure deliberately on the government. They are being encouraged to do so more by Correct. the pro-Pakistan chief you. minister who we have. So I think I think we'll have I to take a fair, you. fair yes. you know, pretty strong position as far as this is concerned. I mean, Pakistan has a choice here. on both issues. Yeah, on BJP both issues, but but on, on both. On no, but BDP on talks with Pakistan. what do we stand to lose, Maruf, if we don't talk to them? No, nothing happens. Well, the fact of the matter is, Pakistan, I, although Air Marshal Abid Rao tries to believe that we are being arm twisted by the Americans to talk to Pakistan, but let me clear your mind, sir. America has more to take from India than we have to take from America. They are not giving us any handouts like they gave you for the last 7 to 10 years. We are actually giving them the biggest oh, arms contracts, which is very handouts. vital for their arms lot industry. Lot um, um, I, please I hear me out, sir. Maru, please hear me. That is sir, correct. Uh, this sir, is also correct. Please hear me out. Mr. Pizza, India cannot Mr. Pizza, to ignore Pakistan. Mr. Pizza, I am going to get personal today. Does. Please hear me out. I have heard your monologue. Mr. Pizza, please. Air Marshal. Air Marshal, please hear me out. Air Marshal, give me, give me the chance to make my points and you can rebut it. If you want to get personal, I can also get personal. You want to play it hard, I'll play it hard. But let me just give you the facts. The first thing is that we have two options in front of us in New Delhi. Either to suffer, suffer the inconsistencies of behavior that we are getting from Pakistan, which wants talks but doesn't want to go by the, the basic sensibilities of government to government talk, but they are trying to get other parties involved. If you want to get other parties involved, my suggestion is put your army also on the table to talk because they are driving your entire anti-India agenda. And yes, Kashmir is an important issue to you, but it is a consequence of everything else which hasn't worked between India and Pakistan. So you want Kashmir to be addressed, you address our concerns, which is don't sponsor okay, any Rabi, further cross-border terror. Rabi, and we will be it looking is, at it Rabi, Rabi, addressing your concerns. But I think under bogus, the circumstances, bogus, and that's my bottom line, under the circumstances, that Mr. Alive, Modi's government drama has to draw the red line and show to Pakistan who calls the shots. Not Washington, not Islamabad, but New Delhi calls the shots on this one. If Mr. Modi's government doesn't do it, then it will be a bankruptcy of ideas in South Block, and we have only ourselves to blame. But I think we should watch I the also space feel, for Maruf, the next three to four see, days. If I may add, Maruf, I just want to add here, no self-respecting Indian can, should can, be can there at the park. Uh, no no self-respecting Indian. No, I, I'm, I'm putting, I'm making another point. And my final point tonight is, I, my final point tonight is, if, if on Bhagat Singh's, no, no, one second, just one minute, please. If, and I'm saying this, you know, with all seriousness, if on Bhagat Singh's death anniversary, which is the 23rd of March, if on that day, Pakistan invites all these separatists to the Pakistan High Commission to celebrate, they are and, and, and they go, and they go, and they are allowed to go, then I request, and I put this question, should any self-respecting Indian, should any self-respecting Indian be present at that function? I say no, no self-respecting Indian should be there well, at the function the on the Pakistan choice. High Commission on Nobody that day as a measure of our national self-respect. Let there be an audit of who attends the Pakistan celebration, Pakistan Day celebrations, if they invite the separatists. No self-respecting Indian should be there. The government of India should boycott every self-respecting yeah, Indian. Should, whether he's a journalist or I an activist or whatever, or a politician or a bureaucrat or diplomat, sure. should boycott that celebration of the Pakistan High Commission. I thank you all for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight.